fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. of unrest that followed the Civil War, a powerful secret organization called the Legion of the Black Arrow sprang up in the western United States. Its members were to be found everywhere, defying the law or using the law for their own purposes, working toward the ultimate goal of revolt and the foundation of a despotic empire. It was the masked rider of the plains who led the fight against this band of outlaws and traitors, and for once his great strength and courage his daring and resourcefulness were taxed to the utmost in the cause of democracy. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're on the trail of the black girl. Hello, Silver. Away. Lone Ranger became convinced that a man named Torlock was one of the more important members of the Legion of the Black Arrow, and he and Tonto followed his trail from Fort Lincoln. It led them to Phillipsburg, but just as the lights of the town came into view, lightning flared across the sky, thunder crashed, and a torrential wind-driven rain lashed against them. The masked man and the Indian took cover under a rocky ledge. This rain wash out all track. Yes, Kimosabe. Phillipsburg is quite a large town. I think we'd have lost them there anyway. Oh, it plenty bad. Not too bad. It isn't as if we were after someone we didn't know. A railroad go through town. Maybe him get on train. He couldn't do that. The line isn't open yet. Oh, not right. But the first train is scheduled to start in less than a week. It may have been the railroad that brought Torlock here. Mm, maybe so. How we find out? We'll wait here until the storm is over. And that be one, two hour. By that time, the town will be asleep. We'll ride in and call on the sheriff. You know him? No, Tonto. But if he's honest, he'll be glad to help us. Stay here. I think you'd better come in with me. Uh, <coughs> There's a light. We won't have to wake him up. Taught to see girl in the room. Yes. Her not stay there. Just as well. And the sheriff's coming. Ah. Uh, him wear badge, all right. Well, gents. You're what covered, you... Sheriff. We're coming in. A masked man and an engine. Keep your voice down. Is that your daughter who was in here a minute ago? Uh, no, my my niece. There's no need to alarm her. You got a lot of nerve. Outlaws coming right into my house. We're not outlaws. Then what's the idea of the mask and the gun? I won't use it unless you force me to. Here's one of the bullets in my cartridge belt, Sheriff. Take a look at it. Say, it's silver. Uh, mask friend called horse silver. What's that, engine? 
This Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Him not crook. Him look for crook. What's your name? Me, Tonto. That all ties in with what I've heard. Mister, I'm sure happy to meet you. What brings you to Phillipsburg? A man named Torlock. Torlock? Did you ever hear of him? I can't say that I have. Well, that may not be his real name. He's tall and dark. He has a black mustache. His eyes are black, too, and sharp. The eyes of an eagle. Say. You've seen him? There was a stranger come into town this afternoon. He looked like a gambler, but he said he was an engineer. And he answered my description? He sure did, especially the eyes. He seemed to look right through you. What's he done? A man was poisoned at Fort Lincoln, Sheriff. We believe Torlock was responsible. Murder, huh? You got proof? No, but there's an even more serious charge against him. Well, there can't be. What about treason? Plotting against the government? Yes. I'd rather not tell you anything more about it just now. You can arrest him for the murder. He'll be taken back to Fort Lincoln, and General Cartwright can investigate the other charge. I'll sure help you all I can, Mask Man, but you won't find him in town. He's gone? Like I told you, he said he was an engineer, and he said he was going on the Cottonwood Canyon to take a look at the railroad bridge they built across it. And that's where we're heading. Now, wait. I warned this Torlock. He called himself Cavendish here. Yes? I warned him there might be outlaws hanging out in the canyon. He said that didn't worry him, but maybe he was going to join up with them. It's possible. Kimasabi. Maybe Black Arrow Cave there. That's almost too much to hope for, Tonto. I never heard of a Black Arrow Cave, but there's a lot of them in the canyon. It wouldn't be safe for you to go up there alone, Mask Man. There's a thousand places where they could ambush you. Why don't you let me round up a posse and go with you? We can't lose any time, Sheriff. Well, I could get the men together first thing in the morning. There's a lot of heavy undergrowth in the canyon. You'd have an awful time getting through it tonight. And just the same, Well, I... you go ahead if you want to. But how about fixing up someplace where we can meet you tomorrow? Suppose Torlock joined up with a gang. Even if you found him, you couldn't round him up alone. We'll need your help. Then me and the boys will meet you at the foot of Eagle Point. You can't miss that. It's where the top of the canyon juts out to a point about a half mile beyond the opening. Can you draw a map? Oh, sure. There's a pencil and paper right over here on the table. I don't like the idea of you going up there tonight, but if you got directions, it'll be some safer. Kimosabe. Yes, Tonto? Somebody riding away from out and back. Could it be the girl? Oh, I wonder. If she took a look in here and saw you was masked. She... Uh, she's gone. The window's open. Yeah, she slipped out the window. Thought you was an outlaw, just like I did at first. Now she's gone to get help. Fool kid. Well, if she saw my mask, you can't blame her. Well, if she looked, why didn't she listen? There's no harm done. Not and I'll be out of town before she gets back. Yeah, and if she does bring some of the boys, I can get started with my posse sooner than b before. Yes, you might even come with us tonight. Uh, listen, mask man, there ain't many hombres as brave as you. None, I guess. And me and the boys would like it a lot better if we could wait till morning. Of course, if, if you think we no, ought No, Sheriff, to... whatever you think best. Just give us the map and we'll be on our way. I'll finish it up pronto. Karen. Put out that fire. You've ridden hard. Yes, I I had to take the long way around. He'll be using the main trail, and I didn't want to take any chance of his catching up with me. He's come, then. He may be in the canyon now. That's why you can't show any light. Not tonight. Well, out with it. Is that all you have to tell me? No. The sheriff promised to round up a posse, but they won't leave town until tomorrow morning. They're going to meet the masked men at the foot of Eagle Point. Eagle Point? That ought to suit you. There's a cave halfway up the cliff. With a buffalo gun, you can... You're could... very useful, Karen. I respect your brains. But don't try to make my plans for me. There's no better place than the cave. You mentioned a posse, I believe. Surely you're not afraid of them. There would be no escape from that cave. I didn't expect you to do the shooting yourself, Torlock. <laughs> and it's something new if you've developed a consideration for the coyotes who work for you. Keep your voice down. I never take chances with the lives of my men. <laughs> <laughs> Just loud enough for all of them to hear. There's only two of them who belong to the Legion. Why should I have any consideration for the others? Or even for the members? Are they any better than Flint? It was a mistake to tell you that. At least it made me careful, Torlock. You know, someday you'll regret your attitude toward me. I take your orders. That's all I have to do. Indeed. Oh, stop that. Stop what? The way you're imitating him. They're trying to make me think you are the leader. No. No one knows the leader, Karen. Well, understand this. I'd lay down my life for him. Or for anything that will help the cause. 
That's admirable. I commend you. Thank you. Let's get back to business. You may leave the details of the ambush to me. But I have some other work for you. Very well. When you get home tonight, you'll tell your uncle that you're taking the morning stage for Meredith. Why? That's the junction point for the railroad. The two crews will be meeting in a few days. I want to know ahead of time just when the first train will leave for Phillipsburg. They'll telegraph that news anyway. And I also want to know who will be riding in it. We might want to wait for the second train. I see. Any questions? Shall I hire a rider? Find a member if you can. It isn't safe to trust anyone else with a written message. If I can't find a man, I'll bring it myself. Good. Now then? Tolak, I still think the case... That's is... enough. When you get to Meredith, you'll hear that the Lone Ranger has been killed. The following morning, the sheriff rounded up his posse... But they waited until the stage was ready to start for Meredith before they rode out of town. An armed escort for the lumbering coach. It was not until the opening of Cottonwood Canyon had been passed that the lawman raised his arm in a signal to stop. Hi, Uncle Ben. Goodbye. Are we finally heading for the canyon? What's got into you, Hank? The sun's been up over two hours. I don't see why we had to wait for the stage. Maybe we shouldn't have, but Karen's all the folks I got in the world. You can't blame me for wanting her to get past the canyon safe. I don't exactly blame you, but... The Lone Ranger being here means we're up against some mighty tough hombres. Sure. But if we'd go on ahead and clean out the canyon, there wouldn't be any crooks to hold up the stage. It's going to take more than an hour or two to find them. There's miles of canyon. In places, it's wide as a valley. You don't have to tell me. Don't feel bad about this late start, men. We've got the whole day ahead of us. And the Lone Ranger's waiting for us at the foot of Eagle Point. Now, let's go. Come on. Get up. Come on, man. See the point, Tolok? Yes. Any sign of the masked man or the engine? Not yet. I thought you said he was supposed to meet the sheriff at the foot of the cliff. He's smart. That's open ground at the foot of the cliff. You mean he'll keep under cover until the posse shows up? Until he can see them or hear them anyway. Eh, that ain't so good. Why isn't it? Well, Trigger's been waiting up in the cave for hours, but he... <laughs> it ain't funny. You know, Karen has brains. What's Karen got to do with it? She told me last night the cave was the only sure place to pick him off. It wasn't until after she left that I realized she was right. Maybe so, Tolok. But if Trigger has to wait there until the posse arrives, he won't get a chance to get away. The trail from the cave leads straight up the cliff. They can pick him off easy. <laughs> and why do you suppose I gave up the pleasure of killing the Lone Ranger myself? Oh. Trigger doesn't belong. For the moment, he's useful. When the moment is past, what difference does it make what happens to him? Yeah, he'll know he can't get away. I doubt that. I picked him for two reasons. He's a dead shot, and he never thinks ahead. Yeah, I can't help feeling a little sorry for that dumb orc. Well, save your pity. Just remember that the Lone Ranger dies, too. Yeah, there. You see him? The posse. I can see them at the opening of the canyon. Horses and men fighting their way through the undergrowth. It won't be long before the Lone Ranger steps into the open to meet them. <laughs> Here in a minute, Toto. Come on. We leave Silver Scout here? Yes. We can call them when we need them. Uh, Tonto not like it. What's the matter? Tonto not know. Him feel something wrong. You wait. We have to let the sheriff know we're here. Plenty sign of outlaw around. It not good step out and open. Hello, masked man. Where are you? The sheriff's out in the open now. Right here. Where are you? Keep us on me. Look out. Oh! Toto! The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. As the Lone Ranger stepped into the clearing at the foot of Eagle Point, Tonto called out a warning and threw himself in front of the masked man. Two shots rang out, and the faithful Indian fell to the ground. The Lone Ranger knelt beside him as the sheriff's posse thundered to a stop. Is he dead? Where those shots come from? He must stop me. Tonto. Uh, Tonto sees some. Shine on gun. You look up on cliff. Up on cliff? Yeah. There's a cave halfway up. There's somebody climbing out of it now. Uh, looks like a trail leading up to the top. That hombre won't get far. Give me room, boys, so I can get a bead on no, him. No, Sheriff. Don't shoot to kill. Why not? He drilled the engine, didn't he? Don't shoot to kill. Let him get away. Uh. I can show you another trail that leads to the top of the cliff. What good will that do? He'll be gone by the time we, we get there. We can follow his tracks. They'll lead us to the outlaw camp. Well, that's an idea. Of course, they won't waste much time in clearing out. This canyon's like a jungle. It's our only chance to find them. Uh, maybe you're right. Uh, keep shooting until the man reaches the top. Then we'll start after him. You heard what the masked man said, men. We can all waste a few bullets. Good point, sir. I'll have your shoulder bandaged in a minute, Tonto. You'll be all right. Uh, Tonto, wake here. You go on with men. Open fire! Oh. Good. But he, did he get the mass, man? I don't know. Posse's all around them. What about Trigger? He's still climbing. Good. What's good about it? Well, maybe he'll get away. If he does, he'll head straight for our camp. They'll follow him. That's the only way they could ever locate it. Yeah, we got to find another spot, huh? Eh? Not in a canyon. We're leaving it. Where'll we go? The Badlands. Let them try and follow our tracks on rock. What about the bridge? We'll be back. Don't worry about that. Can you can you see the masked man yet? Yes, he's standing up. Trigger missed him. I'll be dumb. The Black Arrow doesn't stand for failure. He'll pay for this. How do you mean? Come on, back to the camp. We're leaving Trigger behind. <laughs> I never thought they'd leave the canyon, Masked Man. We're getting close to the Badlands. Yes, there's rock up ahead. There won't be any trail before long. We've lost them. Well, look. Where? In the shadow of that rim rock. There's a man on horseback. He's riding into one of the canyons. Well, let's hope it's the one the gang took. There's a million of them. Come on, boys. After him. Yeah. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Shoot to kill, Sheriff. It's the same hombre that was in the cave. You'll catch him alive. His horse has gone lame. Yeah. He knows he can't get away now. He's reading up. Don't shoot. I've got my hands up. It's Trigger Gordon. The hornry killer. Pick him up. Don't shoot. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Take off that wrist guard, Trigger. Huh? Hurry up. What's the idea? The left one. Sure. There you are. I see. I don't see nothing. I was looking for a tattoo mark, Sheriff. The Trigger doesn't seem to have one. What kind of a tattoo mark? Oh, never mind. The gang take this canyon? I don't know. And what were you riding up here for? I had to try one of them. Now, don't lie. I'm not. When I got back to the camp in Cottonwood, they was gone. I followed their trail until it hit rock, and then I lost it. They double-crossed me, the ornery polecats. Left me behind. No, none of that. They told you where they'd be heading. They didn't, I swear. He's telling the truth, Sheriff. We've lost them. Well, take him back to town and put him in jail. You're, you're giving up, masked man? Not exactly. I'm heading back for Cottonwood. When Tonto can ride, we'll start after Torlock again. You figure he's left this part of the country? I... I'm not sure. Well, you won't leave before you say goodbye, will you? No, Sheriff. You'll see me again before I leave. I promise. Come on, Silver. Adios, Masked Man. Adios. Adios. Oh, Silver! Hoy! The railroad bridge spanned Cottonwood Canyon at its narrowest point. From the shining rails at the top to the new timbers that crossed and recrossed on their way to the canyon floor, it was the only evidence of civilization for miles, and already, just a month after its completion, the undergrowth was rising about it once again. The Lone Ranger made his camp within sight of the bridge. It was two days before Tonto was able to stand on his feet, but on the third day, his strength returned quickly, and that evening... Tonto feel plenty bad. What's wrong, Kimosabe? Well, you stay here with Tonto and him take long time to get strong. 
Maybe you not find Torlock again. Even if you hadn't been wounded, we'd have stayed here, Kimosabe. What you mean? That bridge is the only thing that brought Torlock to Cottonwood Canyon. You think him try wreck it? It's just the sort of thing the Black Arrow would try. Oh, him have plenty time. He must have been waiting for the right moment. When that come? When he can destroy more than the bridge. Oh, him wait for train then, huh? Yes, Kimosabe. I'm going to leave you tonight. Where you go? To Meredith. I want to find out when the first train is coming through. Uh, Here, Silver. When you get back. By tomorrow morning at the latest. Now, if you see any men around the bridge, ride into town and get the sheriff. Uh, Can't do it. Come on, Silver. Once out of the canyon, the great white stallion raced along the moonlit trail. Mile after mile was left behind. But suddenly, the masked man reined up and swung into a grove of trees. Someone coming, Silver. He's riding fast. We'll wait for him here and find out why he's in such a hurry. An ordinary traveler doesn't whip up his horse like that. Come on, boy, out on the trail. Race for the sky. Up with him. What is this? Hold up. Where are you heading? Phillipsburg. You're masked. Yes. That horse. You're the Lone Ranger. No, you don't. Drop that gun. That's on my arm. Not until I get that paper you tried to swallow. You're breaking my wrist. Open your hand. There. That's better. I think I'll take a look at your other wrist. No. Don't argue. All right. There. Just as I thought. A black arrow. You were taking this message to Torlock, weren't you? I don't know anybody called Torlock. We'll see what it says. Change plans. Officials taking second train tomorrow night. Change plans. So the first train is leaving Meredith tonight and Torlock plans to wreck it. This note would have stopped him until tomorrow. But we'll act tonight. I don't know what you're talking about. Get moving. You're heading for town. No, wait a minute, Mask Man. Hurry up. All right. Get up there. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Steady, Silver. Get down from the saddle. Hip. Walk in front of me up the steps. Which one? The mask man. The sheriff wasn't home. I have a prisoner for you. A prisoner? You can't arrest me. There's nothing wrong with having a tattoo, Mark. Look at it, Hank. A black arrow. What's it mean? I'll explain later. We've got to hold him until after we round up Torlock and his gang. But I haven't got the keys to the jail. And we'll rope him and leave him here until we get back. I'll attend to it, Hank. You get a posse together. A posse? What's up, anyway? The first train for Meredith is leaving tonight. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to pass through here about 4 o'clock in the morning. Won't get this far if Torlock can stop it. Hold up. I believe he plans to destroy the bridge across Cottonwood Canyon. Golly. There. Now, hurry. Get your men. Right. Here, Hank. Swing left, boys. Head for the canyon. Right, Isn't that somebody riding out of the canyon? It is isn't Tonto. A black horse. Might be the sheriff. Yes, you're right. Hiya, sheriff. What's all this about? Well, plenty of trouble. What brought you out here, sheriff? Well, I was looking for you. Sort of worried because I hadn't heard from you. Did you see Tonto? No. And you didn't ride far enough. It's a bridge that's in danger. Huh? Torlock and his men are going to wreck it. What's that? You'll find out. Follow me. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Have you seen any men around the bridge, Toto? No. Maybe they plan to wreck the train some other place. I don't think so. But we'll take the west trail up to the rim. Then we'll ride along the tracks toward Meredith. Hey, wait. You're right. There's a light up there at the bridgehead. Torches. Men, too. You can see them. We've got to hurry. The train's almost due. Come on, Silver. <laughs> Now we're on level ground. Come on, Silver. Yeah, there's the gang. What are they doing? Setting a charge of powder under the bridge. Yeah. There's the train. We'll be too late. No, we won't. Cut them off from their horses so they can't escape. Then close in on the bridgehead. Right. They see us. Open fire, boys. <laughs> The 
posse closed in on the outlaws. A desperate gun battle followed. The outlaws were driven out on the bridge. They could see the train charging toward them, and finally, in desperation, threw down their guns and with their hands held high, ran toward the posse in the canyon's rim to escape the oncoming locomotive. But the Lone Ranger saw one man disappear below the rim, and he leaped from Silver to follow him. <laughs> Down he crashed through the underbrush and found the outlaw directly beneath the tracks. Stop that match. You can't stop me. This can stop you. No. The charge all set. It's all ready to light the fuse. But this is one time that the Black Arrow failed. I just give Hank orders to take those crooks back to town. Uh, aren't you going with them? We didn't get Torlock, did we? Maybe he's waiting somewhere around here. Why can't you and me follow their back trail and see where it leads? It's a good idea. Our job is only half done as long as Torlock is free. All right, Hank, move them along. Right. Come on. Well, they came up the rim from the south. You want to take the lead? Yes. Their horses were right over here. And the trail's as plain as day. Do you understand now why I call Torlock a traitor? Sure. I understand everything. The Black Arrow is trying to rule the West. They will, too. What's that? The posse can't see us now. Don't turn around. Just heist your hands, masked man. Make one move and I'll pull the trigger pronto. you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>